people and actually throw up that objection. Uh, that's my prediction. I might be wrong. Okay, so now we're near the end of the first half when we're going to take our break, relax, have a cup of tea or, um, or grab a drink. We'll need to be back in 10, 15 minutes so that we can finish up um, and get all the information like, such as my negotiation tactics and quality control and all that type of stuff. Also, I'm going to tell you about the growth strategy, so stay till the end for that. Here's an example of a two-man tent. Okay? Now, the RRP of this would be 200, the recommended retail price, sorry, for, I hate when people use ling ling lingo, I don't understand. The recommended retail price is $205, and we got the source, we looked on tentworld.com.au. Now, this is not actually something that uh, I consider a proper recommended retail price. I like to be conservative, I don't like to exaggerate or embellish things, you know, otherwise give you the wrong idea. This is an online store, and will an online store be cheaper than a retail store like Paddy Palin's or? Exactly. So I've taken the conservative thing, okay? And have a look at these prices. Here's the quiz. I want you all to get your pens out. And I want you to write whether you think this is A. Actually, no, let's see a show of hands, okay? Let's say who A thinks it's $100. Anyone? Do you think how much it actually costs? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I should have explained that. Well done. Thank you. So how much would it cost to actually buy in China? Okay, forget for a second that you have to pay for shipping and storage and warehousing and and you know what all these sort of things. Who thinks it would cost hundred dollars for a two hundred dollar tent in China? To buy or manufacture? To buy to manufacture, to buy off the manufacturer. Or yeah, let's just say big quantities for now. Yeah. So you can see what the potential is. That's how I based it. I have based it on big quantities, not small ones. Two, no one thinks it's hundred dollars. Okay. Fifty dollars? Show of hands. Okay, two, three people, four people, okay. Ten dollars? Okay, and who thinks it could be as low as three? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, interesting. Three dollar tents. That might happen. Acoustic guitar. Anyone here a guitar nut? Yeah. RRP, $150 from artistworld.com.au. $85. Who thinks it costs $85? Show of hands. Good, clever people. $45. Show of hands. Okay, two, three people. Would you be happy to import something for $445 and make that sort of money with that? Yeah, you'd be cool with that. $27, anyone? Okay, and last one's $12. Well, quite a few people would think that, okay. Mini DVD player, I've got one of these. It's cool because I thought DVD players were quite bulky. I've imported DVD players before, I love this product. Recommend a retail price of this is $39 and this actually went into Dick Smith all right, and actually saw that they were $39, um, pretty cheap. Now, how much would that be in China? Would it be $30? Okay, no one for $30? Okay. Uh, $25? And $15? Okay. Cool. All right. This is my item, the item I sold more than any other item in the world, a pocket bike. The RP now is 270 It used to be about four. I sold, the first one I sold for about $700, $800. By the time I was finished with them, it was $400. And now I've noticed them on just auto.com today for 270 How much do you think these cost in China? And I actually, I, I haven't checked the price lately. So the price I'm quoting is what it, what it was back in the day. So it's probably cheaper now. Oh, they're about like that. You saw a picture of me on them, right? Yeah, yeah they're that big. Yeah. Okay. Uh, $200 for a motorcycle. Interesting, huh? $120 for a motorcycle. This, is, this runs on petrol. $120? Okay. $100. And $80. Okay. So quite a few people. Great. Okay, so guys, now it's uh, time for the break. Um, please enjoy yourselves. Um, Alex, do you have an announcement yeah, to make? Can I just say one quick thing yep. before we break for uh, 15 minutes to be back at 820? Uh, if you'd like to give me feedback, like I said, uh, we've got the new program coming out, $300. I'm happy to give that to you. Uh, we are, um, if you can share just some video feedback on how you felt about tonight, you know, watch your own, and we'll be recommend this to other people. Okay, and uh, also one more thing is we've, for those of you who want to get a copy, video copy of the seminar, and uh, if you want the free phone consults, which I'm giving the three of you, If, if the design's the same and it's patented, then you can't, you can't do it. There's also the TPA. The Trade Practice Act, yeah. Okay, so the, the Trade Practice Act, and this is getting a little legal, thanks. What was your name, sir? Anthony. Sorry? Anthony. Ant Anthony, okay, thanks, Anthony. Um, the Trade Practice Act says, and again, um, I 
all encourage you to seek your own legal advice. I don't want any responsibility here. I'm not qualified um, to, to actually advise you on this. However, someone who would might say something along these lines. Um, they would say to you that there's a Trade Practices Act, and that Trade Practices Act says that any false misleading conduct is illegal. Yeah, but so, you're not saying it's a no -take. Yeah, but it's, it's not about whether you're declaring it. It's about the perception and the, the, the eye of the beholder. And that if the consumer is actually buying something because they have the belief or the perception that it might be like an iPhone, you're actually trading off someone else's success, and that's, that's, a, that's a problem. Sorry? Yeah, even the Coca-Cola the Coca bottle, like the actual shape of the bottle, that's design patented. So you've got to be careful about that, okay? If anyone has any issues... Yeah, smart man. Cool. What firm are you in? Okay, cool. Yes? Can I ask you a question? Sir? Those pocket bikes and the uh, trial bikes you are selling. Yep. Did you have to have a dealer's license to sell them? Yeah, I did. did Absolutely. Did yeah, I did. I just, I paid a law firm $2,000. Um, they yeah. did it all for me. Yeah. I uh, got the license and also I needed an import permit every time. Every time. You couldn't yeah. get a full import permit for the... No, every time I did. It was easy. It was just automated. I, I basically paid a guy five bucks an hour to do all the... the I had a formula like for yeah. this and it was all done. And what about if you get, like, I don't want to hear it said, the trial bikes that you've got, something to do with that sort of thing, uh, say, for instance, the Yamaha and the Sun here, right? And if I change the, um, the name of the brand and name it, say, Samurai, for instance, like it is. That's mine, can't have it. No, I'm not going to say it. Well, it's just a shotgun for it. Yep. Alright. The, the, the actual uh, the part of infrastructure yep. and development, they said they cannot, you cannot bring anything that is already standing here to give us. Okay. That brand, Yamaha. Yeah, yeah, so you just you know, label it something. You just label something else. Would that be able to bring it in? Only if it's not actually design patent or there's actually some well, sort of protection. It's, you can't do it that way. Like it, sometimes you can with certain parts, and certain parts are protected and certain parts. It depends on the thing. Like, you look at this Kogan guy. Anyone heard of the Kogan? Absolute legend, right? He's selling the same TVs you buy of Panasonic. And he's selling on eBay. He's got his own website. And he's selling the... the, the he's, he's actually just using a Panasonic... Uh, what do they call it in that industry? Um, a shell? No. Chassis. So, Housing. Chassis, no. Housing. Sorry? Housing. Housing. Panel. The word's panel. And yeah, that, that's, that's okay, you can do that because they're generic. So you've just got to be careful. Some things are and some things aren't. Um, frankly, I think the best test is, look, and I will say this with a huge caveat, 90% of the time you might do something which isn't allowed and, 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 and you don't even know it, right? Um, you won't even get, get in trouble, but there is always that potential and that can happen. I would just say get some legal advice and find out if there's any issue with it before you legal Lawyers will know about importing that? Just Google it. Bring up a lawyer. If a lawyer knows they can take your money, they'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, hey, do you reckon we have a full room? Do you reckon everyone's back in? Who wants some more of these books? Yeah? Sure. Okay. So, we've got a few more of these books left. There's some more prizes to be given. Um, okay. So, we've had the break, and that's now over. Okay. So, the answers to the quiz. Are we all excited? That was pathetic. Are we all excited? Yes. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so let's do it. Two-man tent. All right, here it is. RP was 205. Okay, so who here thought 100? Quickly. Let's just get through this quickly. I want to get into the negotiation. Let's do it. Okay, so it's $100. No one? No one? Going once, going twice? No one? Uh, $50. Cool, a couple of people, $50. $10. Really? And $3. $3 for a tent? Absolutely. 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 Three dollars. Fantastic. Well done. Um, the winners to get is the person who answers all the questions correctly. Okay, you don't just get one. So, um, okay. So that's three dollars. Um, you have to import a lot of them to get three dollars. If you want small quantities, you're going to pay about five, six, seven dollars. But let's just um, write some stuff on the whiteboard here. Anyone here good at mathematics? What's the margin on that in real dollar terms? Massive? Okay, 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 that's great. We've got a mathematician here. No. Sorry? Forget the numbers. Forget the actual percentage. How many dollars do you make if you buy... $202. Okay, let's round it down to... 200 Okay. Sweet. Now we're talking. Okay. Now tell me... So you sell one of these a day, right, um, for a year. 365 days in a year? 
Okay, but let's say you take 65 days off to actually travel around China and Malaysia and, and Thailand and all this type of stuff. 300 days now. How much is that in dollar terms? If you sell just one of these every day, forget wholesale customers, you just have one retail customer every day. 70 grand. 70? $60,000. $60,000. Hands up who can see how these numbers check out. Can you guys see how these numbers check out? Yes, so of hands. See that? One every day of an item like that. Okay? But here's the thing. Here's the interesting thing. You don't just have to sell tents if you have a tent business. You're in a niche that is a quarter of an inch and eight miles. So what other products, if you sell tents, would your customers maybe want? If you have, wait, wait, let me even specify a little more. Sorry, sorry. Two-man tents, what else could people potentially want? Sleeping bags. Sleeping bags. What color sleeping bags? Or? Okay, or? What colors? Pink, okay, for the ladies, right? Pink, pink sleeping bags, okay. Um, are there sleeping bags that are different if you're in a, if you're in a uh, different temperature? So if you're in the if you're in the uh, top of Tibet, sorry, if you're on the top of Everest, what kind of sleeping bag would you need? A thick one. And if you're in uh, Hawaii, what kind of sleeping bag would you need? Different things. Bed sheets. Okay. And you, of course, you might have a two-man sleeping bag if someone's going to get lucky. Right. That's another option. Right. You have two-man tents for people who don't have any friends. They have a one-man tent. You, have, you, can have, you can have even five-man tents. So here are all different products. What about backpacks? Has anyone seen backpackers walk around? They have these little blue things that stick at the back of the backpack. Sleeping mats. Okay, and what else do backpackers use when they travel? Backpackers use back, backpacks. You see what I'm doing here? So if you're able to sell one tent, two-man tent every day, you have a business that can support that, right? Do you think that same business, which is making $60,000 a year, is able to sell also one sleeping bag, double person sleeping bag, thick sleeping bag, thin sleeping bag, mats, mattresses, big tents, small tents, different colours. If you have this sort of customer base and you're in a niche, do you guys see how I was able to turn over the type of turnover I was simply by being in a niche? Cool, huh? All right. Who wants to move on with the quiz? Yeah? All right. Great. Okay. Acoustic guitar. $150. Okay, two things, $85. See a show of hands. No one? Good, that's wrong. $45. One person $45? Okay, that's good. Okay. $27. Okay, and who thinks $12? China. Bing, bing, bing. Fantastic. I actually saw a factory um, who had them for. Eight dollars for a guitar. I was too scared because I just thought something has to be wrong. I always, that's always, I just, the bottom two factories who give me a quote, I just cut them out. I just, that just works for me. You know, I might have lost quite a bit of money along the way by not doing that, but there's always got to be something wrong. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, move on to DVD players. Okay, so here's a DVD player, a mini, mini DVD player. Okay, so that's $39 from Dick Smith. Who thinks that's going to be $30? Anyone? Okay. Uh, $25. Okay. Uh, $20. Cool. And $15. Okay. Well, guess what, guys? $30. And, and this, what? Really? From China? Okay. And here's the deal with it. It's an auction item, right? Yeah. An auction item. So it's actually lower than retail price. But from China, it's $30. And here's, here's why it's so expensive. That's the cost of it. And what happens, you have some people like Dick Smith, right? and if you guys get it cheaper, good luck to you, but this is what it costs. And the reason is that the materials and the labour and the supply and the, and the technology cost that much money. Now, would you import this item? This is what we call a doozy. But you've got to know, you've got to try, you've got to test it out. The reason why, why would Dick Smith...